Well, a crazy day today and things are calming down just in time to ease us into the weekend. Let me show you the radar loop in the last five hours as the storms rumbled off the foothills through the Denver area, dropping over an inch of rain on the northern side of the Denver metro area and then continued to cause severe weather all the way out across northeast Colorado. Some very large hail up in the northeast corner of the state around Crook and Julesburg. Things have quieted down now, just some lingering showers and they'll be ending as well. So a pleasant Saturday. Saturday morning, we'll have 63 at 7 a.m., 72 by 9 a.m., 80 by 11 a.m. Today, before the storms came in, 83. 57 has been the low. Record highs, 105 back in 2012. 86 is the average for this time of year. 63, a pair of them downtown and at the airport. Pressure's rising. Winds are out of the northwest at 15 miles per hour. That's the big map. The severe weather has now moved off into Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, where it will linger all night long. We will see our storms diminish here by 2 a.m. Pretty much everything's out of the state. And by early morning, we're back over to partly cloudy skies. That front off to the west will continue to push across Colorado on Saturday. It's going to bring in warmer, drier air and lower the threat of severe weather. 55 by morning, common figure, Fort Collins, Greeley, Denver, 37 at Leadville. In the mountains, it'll be in the low to mid 40s by morning with mostly clear skies by daybreak. And in the mid 50s on the plains, we'll have quiet conditions in the morning. By midday, as that front comes across, there'll be some clouds building and there will be some thunderstorms again tomorrow afternoon. But the severe stuff will be way out near the Kansas-Nebraska border. It'll be more just isolated storms over the rest of the state. Warmer. Back up to 90 for Fort Collins, Greeley, 88 in Denver. Mountains will be mostly in the 70s, although Leadville a little cooler at 67. The same with Keystone and Winter Park. 73 up at Drake and Red Feather Lakes, and we'll be looking at readings in the low 90s. Fort Collins, Greeley, out toward Fort Morgan and Sterling. For tonight, a few showers end. Gradual clearing, 55 for a low. For tomorrow, the high temperature, 88. There'll be some storms in the afternoon, but not nearly as busy a day as we had today. And after that, it's going to be hot and dry for a while. Sunday, up to 92. Monday, 93. Tuesday, we'll be looking at temperatures around 90 degrees. And then back to some scattered afternoon thunderstorms Wednesday and Friday. A crazy day today. If you had some rain, glad to hear it because not everybody did, but we certainly could use the precipitation. Now it looks like we'll have a fairly quiet weekend after a few storms around tomorrow. Hope that you got through it okay safely, and uh, I think we'll be in for a pretty good weekend overall.